I think that the uh, importance of biomarkers has really changed the field. So what we see is that, uh, as I said previously, is that Alzheimer's was previously made simply on a clinical diagnosis. And now what we're seeing is the incorporation of biomarkers, whether it be amyloid, tau, phosphotau, um, is incredibly important to personalize this medicine and to get the right diagnosis. That's led to a tremendous interest in uh, therapeutic uh, uh, studies Every major pharmaceutical company now has a program uh, in dementia uh, therapeutics, and there have been some really exciting data. Last month, uh, there was the first phase one data coming out of a, a major pharma showing a decrease in amyloid plaque load in patients who are treated with an antibody, and importantly, a uh, improvement in cognition. So this is the first time that we're really seeing um, significant effects of the therapeutics on the disease modification. So NeuroSeq is a small molecule labeled with, with uh, fluorine 18, uh, which is a radioactive tracer. It is injected into, it is made every day in local radio pharmacies um, and is injected into a patient who you want to see whether that patient has amyloid plaques in their brain or not. The, the, process is, is the, the, the tracer compound is injected into the, into the arm vein, you wait for instance 60 to 90 minutes, and then you go into what's called a, into a scanner, which is a positron emission tomography machine, and that takes a picture of your brain, and with that you can see whether you have amyloid plaque or not. So NeuroSeq uh, has the highest sensitivity of any of the amyloid agents, which means that it really is very, very good at detecting whether you have amyloid plaques in the brain. Now amyloid plaques is not a diagnostic agent, so to, to have amyloid plaques doesn't mean you have Alzheimer's disease, but it's a very important biomarker to be used in conjunction with the uh, clinical evaluation, the clinical uh, uh, analysis uh, done by a neurologist. And so if, for instance, you have a negative uh, amyloid neuroseq scan, then the likelihood of you having an Alzheimer's disease is quite low. And so then the, the physician really needs to be looking at other potential causes for your, uh, for your cognitive impairment. First, um, I think that what's very exciting again is in the therapeutic field. There are many, many companies who are engaged in uh, therapeutic uh, disease modifying uh, therapies. One of the things that we've learned and one of the exciting things about the imaging field is essentially every one of those trials now has an amyloid assessment as an inclusion criteria into the trials. One of the problems from previous therapies was that or therapeutic trials was that the right patients weren't being screened and enrolled in the trial and so the trial couldn't be positive. Now we have a good way of showing that, 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 that we're enrolling the right patients into the trials and so that then we can begin to see appropriate positive outcomes from these therapeutics and I think that that's very, very exciting.